We're just cruising down the coast here and we have our squid jigs just out the back. I've just turned us around because it's a bit, a bit shallow. So I wanted to go out and around the shallow bit. Um, so we're just throwing squid jigs out while we're traveling down to where we're going to fish. We might find some squid on the way. There might be some squid when we get down there, who knows? Um, and also, we've hired a boat, which you didn't notice. So, welcome back to another episode, I guess. Uh, we're on a boat, 5.5 meter boat. That's X mount, essentially. We've hired a boat, we're going squidding and fishing and all sorts of bizzo. We'll see what we can find. So, stay tuned. Hopefully you enjoy. See you when we have some action. So, uh, Tegan just put my rod in, because I was like, oh, it's bouncing a little bit. It might have squid on it. And she's like, it's weed. And then we got it in, and it had a squid on it. So there's the first squid of the day. It's the smallest squid ever. And then just grab the squid jig and just turn it upside down and you'll fall off. He's off. See you, buddy. This isn't the goal for today. We're actually heading way down there. It's a bit choppy. We're going slow anyway. So we're trolling some squid jigs while we're going. Yes, I filmed that. Good cast. There you go. That's better, and then we just let a bit of line out so it's hanging way back there, and we hope for the best. Look at the size of that. I don't know how windy it is or how well the GoPros didn't pick that up, but that is a big sea snake. Holy mackerel. Hey, buddy. How cool is that? They're chunkier than I would have thought. I'm sure we're on it. Oh, really? Yep. Tegan's caught some tiny little fish. You are killing it this trip, aren't you? <laughs> Tegan's first ever go jigging, and she's landed the first fish. It wasn't a monster, but a fish is a fish is a fish, and it makes the day not a donut. So, let's keep going. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, on. How was that one? There's another one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he dropped. Certainly do. Yep. Oh, I dropped it. Yep. <laughs> no, no, it's a con. I thought for sure it was a flatty. That's another thing. Yeah, another. Oh, difference. No, same. Yeah. Is that the same fish? Can I just let you go? No, he's a, he's a little bit different, I think. Yeah, he's a bit bigger. I really don't think it's liking that I didn't wash it properly. Oh, I just had a fish. I just had a fish on. Yeah. Not even lying. Fish after it. Yep, fish on. No, another one. These things love the prawn. Little cod. Ah. They're pretty good fun. Not gonna lie.
I'm on. You're on? There's something little. Oh, that's a decent size. Yep. Really? Oh, God. Mm. Not a bad one. I'll just sit him back in the water for a second. <laughs> Doubles, babe. This little rock cod has no minimum of this type. So, we are going to give one a go. So, there's a few, there's gold spot and black spot and whatnot um, that have got to be bigger and they're protected, some of them are protected, they get huge. These little rock cod, according to the WA book, no minimum size, but you can only have eight. So, we're going to just keep one to try because. We've never tried one before, so why not? So we'll do that off screen. We might have him in tacos later. Tegan's on with another one. He's gonna go in the tasting tray and then we're done with rock cod, I think. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's a good one. That's, oh, the two came up with it. It just looked good, but there was two, like one was right behind it. So, and then he turned around and swam off. And I'm like, oh, that was a good one, but there was two. My second rock cod that followed up was like right there. I'm gonna drop this down and catch him right now. You watch this. You ready? It's just down on the edge of that coral. That's where they both came from. I can see my prawn sitting on the bottom. Really? I got one. Yep, got him. I just watched him take it off the bottom. I just watched him take it off the bottom. Okay, get a squid jig. Where'd he go? Where? Oh, hold on. So what you want to do, just watch it. You got him? Want to move your rod for a second? You're not going, oh, he's going for you, Lua. He's going, stop, 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 stop. And now jerk it, jerk it. You've got him. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I got a squid. just got a squid. All right. <laughs> no others around? I think that was the one that went. What you do is you just sit him there and go dead. Oh, see, yeah, it went like into the yep. water. That's crazy. That was Tegan's first ever. How was that, babe? Fun. Fun. You gotta look at the camera. Fun. <laughs> first ever squid. Little live crab thing. Just gonna cast it down and. See what happens. I had a few hits from some little fish out, well, decentish fish out here. And they just would not hook up on the prawn. Maybe on a little crab. We'll find out. Go, baby. That drag was set for. That's a cod. <laughs> oh, God. That drag was set for. Squid, he inhaled that. On the jig, that's some little spotted redfish. I reckon he's a golden snapper, guys. He's undersized. We're just gonna throw him back. Bye, buddy. Off he goes. Happy is Larry. Straight back to the bottom. Well, sort of not straight back. He did a bit of an arc. Okay, I just went to wind in the um, in the crab, and then it got slammed. That is a baby coral trout. One of the best eating fish, apparently. But I'm pretty sure he's a touch undersized. Nature. That'll be a cod for sure. Tegan's got a, a different cod. Oh, look at this. That's 
blasted laksa. Some noodles, bean shoots. Get out of it apparently, I'm in trouble. Flathead laksa, bean shoots and noodles underneath the laksa. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Bit of the flatty, bit of everything else. That's camp food. That's actually really good. Mm, fresh flatty. Can't beat it. I'll see you out there spear and stuff. Well, Tegan is not coming. And I thought I'm going to explore a little bit further than last time. So I've wandered down a little bit. Now I'm just trying to find a gap through the mangroves. Um, a little bit more prepared than last time. We have a shopping bag for the fish. Spear, net on my back, and I've worn my backpack. Um, I've got a handheld CB radio. Tegan's got the other one, so I can keep in contact with her. And I've got my knife on my belt and my phone for extra light. So hopefully we can get out in the mangroves. The main goal is to see if we can't find a mud crab. It is low tide, so we'll be out in the water looking again. But we'll definitely not turn down a legal size flatty or squid or anything like that either. So let's see what we can find. I'm not at the water yet. Well, that might be, I don't know. But I can hear stuff getting smashed out there in the water. It's that way. Might be a channel through. They're a bit of a maze, these things. We don't have service here. Google Maps will not let you drop pins where you don't have service. But the Hammer Maps app, if you download the maps, you can drop pins, waypoints. So I've dropped one where the car is. And that way, I know which direction when I'm looking at the map the water is, which direction the car is, and I can find my way back here if I get lost. And I think that's a bloody brilliant idea. So if you're ever going to explore like this, Get yourself a good downloadable map like Hammer. So you don't end up lost forever while you're exploring mangrove fields. Stuff getting smashed over here. Dirtier than the other night. I don't know why. Oh, jeez. Mullet? Mullet, for sure. Something's chasing them, though. While it's murkier like that, I don't feel like going out deeper. The other night we went out a bit deeper, but. No. While it's. Not very visible. Garfish. There must be predators in here chasing them. I just wasn't filming then. I stepped in there and went, I don't like feeling this. Stepped over here, turned around. There's a bloody shark about a metre long. Just followed me in. That's what's chasing those fish around. These little fish. Hey buddy. They're hiding up here from the predators. I'm not going out in that murk with a shark hammering around. They're in the little. They mistake your leg for a fish. You'll know about it. When I say little, like he's a metre long. He'd have a mouthful of plenty of teeth. Wouldn't he? There's a shovel nose. Whoa, buddy. Thank yourself. You're right. You're right. Off you go. You went the wrong way, mate. First muddy. He's a bit small. 
So, you're a lucky fella. Got him a first fighty. He's not legal. Ooh, we're on. I mean, he is legal, but there's not much on him of that size, is there? Jeez, they're bloody stubborn, aren't they? Go, buddy. Uh, legal male mud crab, and I almost stood on it. She's just molted. Um, well, sadly, sadly, I was mistaken. It's a female mud crab, and she's just molted. She's very soft. So, <sighs> males have a triangle. And the females have that more rounded tail. I just thought she had pretty bulky claws for a uh, for a female, but but female, so she gets to go. Excuse me, mate. Where's your dad? Yeah, that's what your dad. Ah, oh, bastard. Wouldn't tell me, would you? He never turned on his family. Going off the claws. I reckon it's another girl. Off she goes. The fact that I've now found two is a little bit encouraging. I just need to find a big boy. I just gave you guys a big spiel and showed you me catching this fella and showing his measurement. He's just legal and he's a boy. Um, the reason I didn't just spear him and I've got him in the net, is so that I could check those things. If I just speared him and he was undersized or he was a girl, then I have to let him go. But we're actually going to have a fresh mud crab. Super excited. Hopefully we can find another one. But I'm in the right area. So win-win. And I put him in the Carl's bag so that the net's free. And we're going to try to find another one. That was so cool. I thought sea snake, but it's an eel. So yeah, so there's an eel, shark. <laughs> They're just always hanging off the edge there. That could be a crab, and I'm not going out there. I thought I'd come show you sea snake, but it's just an eel. Yeah, gross. Sea snake would be cool. Eels, gross. It's been a while since I've seen a crab, actually. I think I'm, I've moved back out of crab territory, which I'm worried about. Oh, hang on. That's a crab hole, but he is probably not big enough. Keep moving. That's a good sign. I hadn't seen any signs of crabs in a bit. So, what's there? Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, okay, go hide in the hollow mangrove root. Bloody everything here, it's cool. Oh, these. He's a medium sized crab. He'll be a dinner sized crab in a year or so. This guy won't make it. I reckon it's a young male, but he's had a rough life. He's not quite legal, but he's getting close. Missing a claw. His other claw had half a nipper. He's rough life, but another sign of crabs. So they seem to be ages with nothing. Then a few holes and crabs and smaller crabs, a couple of girls or whatever. So see the little one here it must be certain terrain that they prefer I'll just sort of keep going and find some with the nice big males that I can find obviously they don't get to be big males by being stupid I guess I'm not on squid but I reckon he's probably a little bit too small hey bud we'll leave you be whoa there's a shark oh chasing something around 
I swear they've gotten used to me walking along here scaring fish out and they're using me. <laughs> they're just mirroring me along and attacking the fish as I scare them out because they seem to be more and more following me along than they were at the start. Missed both. Bloody hopeless. The baby flooded. So there was a legal sized crab and I wasn't sure what it was, so I netted it. Flipped it over, turns out it's a girl, put the net back in the water to let her go. She dropped both her claws and took off. So, trying to do the right thing, and she's bloody left her claws behind. They will grow back, but, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to upset them like that if you don't have to, just, just a pain. Not like you were hurting the crabs on purpose, but just, Totally different ball game. So it's part of their defense mechanism. You just wish they don't have to do it. I don't know what got him, but that's the crab we want to find. Look at that. Yeah, that's a good crab. He was obviously around here somewhere. Something's witness to him. Finally had the GoPro on to see one of the sharks, hey? Call me Squid Pro. I found that with Squid, the easiest way is to hold the spear and stab at them, then to um, try and shoot it. Maybe just because I'm not that good at shooting it yet. Got a nice one and a couple of smaller ones. So I've got an alarm set for what will have been two hours out. Um, that gives me enough headboard light. To get back to the car and also it's a fair, a fair amount of time to walk away from the vehicle so I'll um yeah I think I've got about 20 minutes left it's another legal male and he just spat that claw there that's a nice fine claw that one just got him out of that hole right there oh I lost my squid That's the way to do it. He's not a monster, but he's legal. And he's got some nice fat claws. Oh yeah, exciting stuff. Ready to go, Mr. One Claw. Go on, off we go, off we go. The alarm went, I snoozed it. I've got to head back to the car now. Right, so I've gone a fair way. Like a fair, fair way. So, I'm gonna head back through the mangroves, but instead of exploring them too much, I'm gonna sort of just have a good look as I try and make the most direct way out. And the main reason for that is battery life of the torch. I'd rather walk back down the road without a torch and try and find my way through these mangroves without a torch. So, but two good sized male mud crabs, not sad about that at all. So I've got ice at the camp, at the car. What I'm gonna do is get back and put these guys, uh, leave them in the bag and just fill it with ice or put them to sleep. And then tomorrow we'll cook them up. <laughs> 